welcome back to the channel i mean kule of connect lock tv guess what i mean i would do me round about i'll be trying banku wache kenke the jollof rice fufu everything guys i'll be trying almost all the Ghanaian food you can you know about i'll be reacting to it and also be testing it so you know what guys while we are waiting for them to prepare because they are preparing the food like right now we'll be asking a series of questions while we wait for them to prepare the food for us you know what i want to sit down relax like comment subscribe and share don't skip What's in the end? Aquaba. What's your favorite local Ghanaian food? Plain rice with palava sauce. Palava sauce. Okay, so why do you like? What makes it your favorite? I love it. I don't have a reason, but I love it because we use palm oil and crab tuna. So what makes Ghanaian jollof special? You see, Ghanaian jollof. Sometimes we use beef. We have a beef, a type of beef called tolo beef. Tolo beef. Yes. If you put it in the jollof rice, you will love the smell, the taste, and everything. So guys, I just tried. Kish guys, kish. So ma'am, what's the content of kish? We use flour. It's a pastry. We use flour and egg with cheese. Okay, thank you very much ma. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm liking the taste I'm having. It's having this pizza meaty flavor. Another bite guys, another bite. <laughs> mm. Also, it's tender, it's tender guys. That's banku and ademe. I know banku. What is ademe? Ademe is uh, a leaf that uh, uh, normally called ayoyo. Some people call it ayoyo. Like okro. Mm. Yeah. But it's a leaf, not okro. It's similar to okro, but not okro. Banku and okro steel. So, what's so special about banku for you? Uh, the way the okro goes up and down. Ah. That makes it that favorite to me. The way it draws. Yeah, the way it draws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Conte with um, a bank coin. Conte with a bank coin. What's inside Conte and a bank coin? What's inside? What's the content? Conte is made of um, dry cassava and the bank coin is a um, palm nut. Palm nut soup. Yeah, yeah that's um, Conte and palm nut soup. That's what I like best. So, guys, as you can see behind me, we're already waiting for the food. The food is ready. Guys, make sure you watch this video to the end and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's go get some Ghanaian food inside our belly I'm about to feast so with me here I have the fufu with light soup and beef and with me here I have the coconte with granite soup the banku with okra soup and fish so the coconte i actually got it for 15 cities while the fufu with light soup and beef 20 cities while the banku the famous banku and okra soup with fish is 17 cities so let me start with the coconte yes with coconte with granite soup mm. is having this granite feel that's the sweetness guys this sweetness i'm enjoying it let me go for one more one more mm. Mm. okay let's go for the fufu let's go for the fufu you know guys this bowl is actually famous this black bowl The soup is actually light that's why it's called light soup guys very very light i love the way it's it draws the draw the feeling the softness it's tender it's tender guys it seems i'm loving i'm loving the fufu with light soup i'm enjoying that more i'm enjoying it more let me go for the for the beef Mm. It, it seems a little bit hard, bro. Mm. Guys, this is divine. You need to try the fufu and the light soup. Mm. 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 Guys, <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Mm. It seems I'm loving this more. I'm loving it, right? <laughs> I love the aftertaste. It's actually 
more like um, the grinded soup that I know in Nigeria. More like grinded soup. The tomato, the pepper, the to- tatashe. Let's go for the famous Banku guys. Let's see if I'll prefer the light soup and fufu over the Banku. <laughs> Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm. There's this thickness in it, but actually, it's still nice. It's nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. Mm. Let me go for one more. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> Mm. For a fact, guys, the aroma of everything from the banku to the light soup and fufu to the uh, cocote is amazing. I think my preferred Ghanaian food so far, I won't lie. I won't lie. Out of these three, out of the banku, fufu and light soup and cocote. Is actually the light soup and fufu <laughs> i'm loving it so guys let's see the one i'll finish first let's see the one the meal i'm gonna finish first let's see oh my god this is a test <laughs> mm. also in the cocote there's actually ginger in it like which also helps in the taste the aftertaste and all guys i'm loving this i think i'm gonna finish my best food so far which is the light soup and fufu with beef. I'm gonna finish that first. Let's see. Guys, I'm about to finish the fufu and the light soup. <laughs> I hope you could join me here. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'll come back for this. Let me go to the banku now. Actually, I'm a lover of fish. I love fish so much. Let me go into the fish first. Mm. Mm. I love the fact that you can see every ingredient, the green pepper, the okra, the okra leaf. Everything is here. Also, guys, this is also garden egg inside the okra soup. Garden egg. Mm. So, guys, you can see I'm done with the banku. Same way, I'm also done with the light soup and fufu. I might not be able to take the soup, but because I'm still gonna try wache and jollof rice, the jollof rice. So make sure you watch this video to the end to see me eating wache and jollof rice. I'm going to go into the concante right now to finish the concante. Because I've finished everything guys. i finished everything. I think this will be my last stop for the concante. This is my last stop. Mm. So by my, judging by myself, I would say my best food so far, so far out of these three, it's actually the fufu and the light soup. That's actually my favorite so far out of this street. So I don't know which will be yours if you come and try. But this is actually my best so far. The light soup and fufu. So guys, let's go on to the next one, which is the love rice and wache. Let's go. My next stop is Ruben service in Awudome, Accra, Ghana to test the famous Ghanaian jollof and also the wache. So guys, I want you to stick with me, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and watch the end. Don't skip. Let's go and see if Ghanaian Jollof will supersede my Nigerian Jollof. We have the Wache, which is combination of rice and beans. Then we have the famous, the world famous Ghanaian Jollof. So guys, I'm going to see if Ghanaian Jollof supersedes my Nigerian Jollof. Today will be the judge, guys. Ghanaian Jollof first. Let's see how it goes. The Ghanaian Jello. Mmm. 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 For me, 
it's looking a bit undone sorry to all my Ghanaian friends yeah and sorry to all my Ghanaian subscribers but it's looking a little bit undone but still I'm still enjoying it but any day any time Nigerian Jollof come to us Nigerian Jollof mm. okay let me give you the watch it watch it beans and rice mm. 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 okay It's in the watch it. It's just like eating beans and rice together. The, that's the white rice and beans with stew. That's just it. There's no difference. But there's this taste. I'm loving this. I love the sauce. The sauce. The sauce. I think it's a pepper sauce. Pepper sauce of the watch. I'm a fish guy, so I'm going for the fish. Mmm. Mmm. For me, out of these two, the watch and the jello. You know what I'll prefer? I'll prefer the watch over the jello. Ghanaian jollof. I prefer watch it than Ghanaian jollof. <laughs> You're confused, right? I love the taste I'm having. I'm guessing for the aftertaste. The aftertaste I'm guessing from the watch instead of the jollof. So I'm, I'm having the watch I may mean, finish the watch before finishing the jollof rice. So guys, join me. <laughs> join me. Mmm. <laughs> No, I might not finish everything today, but you know, I might just take some more. But the fact is, I'm reacting to it and I'm tasting it as a Nigerian. Out of these two, the jollof rice and the wache, I prefer the wache that has the beans and rice over the jollof rice. For me, in terms of taste, I'll prefer the wache that has the rice and beans with the sauce and fish. I'm going to taste Kenke next, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And watch to the end. Next up, Kenke. So guys, I'm at the last stop for today. We're going to try Kenke. So guys, Kenke is a combination of, this is actually maize, if I'm not wrong. Maize, like blended maize. So with the stew, you can see the, the sauce, um, the fish. I think this is green pepper. Then these onions. What you're seeing right here is eight cities. That's why I'm trying local places. Mmm. Okay. It has this thickness. <laughs> let's go. Let's dip in. Mmm. 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 It has a combination of the sweet and sour. Let me go in again, guys. Let me take it with the onions. Mmm. Mmm. I think I'm loving with the sauce. Let's go for one more. The sauce and. Let's go. Mmm. I feel the sauce is straight from the mortar, if I'm not wrong. The sauce itself, this sauce you're seeing, the red sauce, is not cooked, it's not boiled, it's straight from the blending state, straight into the plate. Guys, the spice. <laughs> the spice, I'm feeling it, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling it. I love fish. Mmm. Mm. so guys that will be the end of today's food hunt in ghana sorry i'm talking while you say but guys i've tried almost all the meals i've tried almost everything in ghana so guys the best food so far in ghana i would say is the light soup with fufu and beef and the wache that's my best food so far guys out of all the food i've tried don't judge me guys like comment subscribe and share bye bye guys <laughs> So guys, today won't be possible without my my special friend I met today. Guys, okay, I will leave him to do the introduction. So what's your name? What's your name? Uh, Buhari Muhammad. Buhari Muhammad, what do you do? 
um, I'm a commercial driver. So guys, today was made possible because of him because he took me to the local places in Accra, Ghana to eat. 